We're starting off our really cute um, Christmas Eve vlog <laughs> at Cheese House. Woo! Guys, this flat is absolutely gorgeous. And we were supposed to be, she texted me yesterday, really cute, spontaneous winter wonderland trip, but we can't get any tickets. <laughs> it's so dumb. And we're just getting scammed on Twitter. Why like Olivia, <laughs> AKA Nazar. She texts like, um, okay, like she sounded really legit. And then she was like, send the money to my bank account. <laughs> Nazar, what was her last name? And then she was like, oh, my name is Nazar Olivia. <laughs> yeah, like it's short, it's Olivia, but short for Nazar. Anyway, so we're gonna go to some markets, just just maybe not Winter Wonderland. Are we in the whole rabbit here? No wonder she's finally shut up. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> he wants to see Cheese's new wonderful, go oh, wonderful, gorgeous London flat. This is the bedroom, it's actually gigantic. This is the TV, it's bigger than a TV I'll ever own in my life. This is a, a TV remote. A big wardrobe, too. Here we've got some shoes. This is the, um, I hope you don't mind my flat torchy. <laughs> this is a big sofa, look at this. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous. How many people have this? Huh, oh yeah. Oh, is that keeping you nice <laughs> And then, um, look at this fucking bathroom. Is it here? Yeah. Look at this. One shower, <laughs> two showers. <laughs> Two showers in a one bed flat is just taking the piss. I know. Look, look. In one room. Look at it. Woman of YouTube. That's great. A woman of YouTube? No, woman of YouTube. I'm a woman of YouTube. Um, we've just been catching up, saying how mental mainly cheese life is at the moment. I haven't so we're just in a vlogging gonna... camera in so long. I was gonna say that. Does it feel weird or does it come back naturally? Um, it doesn't come back naturally. So have you got no battery? No, I've got another one. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Um, it doesn't come naturally at all, but it's nice to kind of... It it's nice you, to be here. It's nice to not Happy look. To be it here. gives you like the nicest version of yourself because it's just so like clear and like... We're going to go We're going to find, find an alternative Winter Wonderland. Yeah, we're going to find some markets. Yeah. To be honest, Winter Wonderland's overrated. So I just want like, I just want like a cute little something sweet. Maybe like I a crepe, really sweet, like maybe a churro. Yeah, would love yeah. that. You want to see my laptop? I would love to see your laptop. <laughs> There's a lot of people. What's going on here? Are you opposed to like a fun beverage? Oh, of course. Yeah, you are. No, opposed. I'm not opposed. <laughs> I don't have I don't have my ID on the way. That's weird. What? Did I have it? Yeah. I just didn't bring my purse. <laughs> like this many people. Is that is that all the markets? It's actually mental that we're in London right now. <laughs> but it's crazy. I've not really been able to go out. You did this. It's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, look what we found. Are we next? I want a skewer. Skewer. <laughs> I mean, we could make it for a cup of strawberry. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't know. I thought you just passed it to me. You weren't, so I just grabbed it. Woohoo! Sweet treat acquired. Small one. Or the, or the big one. The small one. I went, yeah, thinking it would be less than Five £10. Pounds. Me too. Oh, the £10 one. Yeah, that's fine. Guys, look. Move hand. Show them how small that is. £10? I'm just eating £10. <laughs> it's delivery time. One of two. Yeah, one of two. Wow, look how big my... Oh, wow, it's too bad. Yeah. Okay, look, this looks. It looks great. <laughs> My friend Lou was doing that because she's just about to do dancing on ice. And she said this her first her first move in the whole show is this. <laughs> Actually, can't she do can't it. do it at all. Wait, are we filming? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we decided we're gonna cook vodka pasta with that. Why this so pasta. small? We got some Maltese truffles, some soda water because we're gonna make some Aberrant spritzes. We got some rigatoni. We got some Hagen Dawes and we got some British Double Creme Cruised Ice <laughs> and that's it. Oh, and then this. They'll know. <laughs> They'll know. They get it. <laughs> we got this. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know why you don't know that. I, I mean, it might be so, it might be like an old school thing. Should we make an apparel? I'm gonna have a snowball. Oh, okay. But yeah. Let's get uh, let's get loud. Okay Google. No, it's an Alexa. <laughs> hey Alexa. What do you say to Alexa? Play you Christmas say music. Alexa. Hey Alexa. 
<laughs> Mine's OK Google. OK Google? Yeah. You have to say OK. Or you say hey, but I like OK Google. <laughs> Alexa. OK. Turn Google. it up. Oh, bye guys. <laughs> It's our second delivery of the night! Because <laughs> we forgot to order garlic bread. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. I just went, no, that's just what I want. Um, Alexa, play Michael Bublé Christmas music. Just say skip song. <laughs> it's all another bad one comes on. on. Then we've, now we've just got Michael Bublé. <laughs> Don't think I could take the oh. It's like old school. Just it. Who'd have thought we'd be in like a flat in London and then he said the exact street address? <laughs> we got some milk chocolate junk cookies and some garlic ciabatta sticks. Oh god, yeah. Can yeah. I say? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's like. Oh yeah, to be fair. Tomorrow, I think, tomorrow. I'd like to watch one of the nativities. I feel yeah. like we would have fun doing that. Or is there is there a secret life of four and five year old Christmas special? We'll just have a look. Um, I love this. But she has got, how many How many have you got? Two, all, all three? Of them. You've got first drafts of all of them? Yeah. She <gasps> has got, if you don't know, my bestie has wrote a bloody show. Program, show, episodes, what do you think? Series? Either. I say show, is that a weird thing to say? No, it's true. Ready? <gasps> Woo! I know it's true. <laughs> Bel it's true. Believe it or not. <laughs> it's a whole whole ass fucking BBC show. So um and she's got first drafts of it all, so we're gonna I'm gonna have a watch. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's actually kinda of like second, third drafts now. Really? Yeah. I absolutely can't wait. I've seen the pilot, haven't I? Yeah. Does that get changed? No, that stays the same. No, it will change bit. Okay. Just add things added. Okay. And like We watched the pilot last Christmas. So if anyone thinks we're not friends anymore, we absolutely are. We uh -huh. just live in different Cities now. We really lived in different opposite sides of the UK for a minute, but now we're not too far because no. you're London. Anyways, we're gonna watch them and I can't wait. I really can't wait. I feel like that's oh. gonna be so fun. I can't talk, I can't speak, I can't. <laughs> can't talk, I can't speak. <laughs> Charles! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I feel like no matter where we are, we always manage to get back together for Christmas. Like I was just about to say it's that. It's always Christmas, that no matter what. If like it's last never Christmas any Eve. other year, it's always Christmas. We've we'll literally probably seen each other twice a year, one of which have always... It's always Christmas. because I'm always home at Christmas. It's at least Christmas, yeah. Yeah, I'm always... Absolutely, yes, please. I thought we just told Alexa to shut up. Alexa, off. What, <laughs> did that just come back on by itself? SpongeBob music. No, no, no. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> Good morning. Good We're about to go live my dream. Which is cute coffee shops, hopefully maybe a pastry, if not some lovely bread. Do you have any butter? Fuck yeah. Do you? I've been eyeing up this coffee shop since I got here. <laughs> oh. Coffee shop run, done. I got coffee. We got two Greek yogs, which I'm very, very excited about. And then we also got two croissants that she is holding. And she is getting a hot chocolate from Cafe Nero. Coffee shop runs are literally the shit that I live for. Like, I love on a Sunday morning. Taste test. Baby girl. Oh, that's really yum. Can I use one of your glass straws though, please? Of course you can. Mm. Paper that is straws. absolutely. <laughs> this right here is the shit I live for. I've got dinner. I've got <laughs> clearance chips from the go op. Chicken. I'd made chicken on Saturday before I left for London because it was going to go off, de off, out of, off of date. Out of date. <laughs> Frozen peas. I've just done a 7k in full run. It's Sunday evening, it's not even like half seven. It's bang on seven. I got back from my run at half six and I was like, I bet I'll be sat down with dinner and a film at seven. And a Pepsi Max. Good morning, people. Feeling a little bit wet and a little bit cold, desperately wanting to get in the shower, warm up and start my day. But it has just gone at 10 a.m. I have done my double session for the week. This week was not, did not come easy even kind of. Like, I don't know why, one side of my brain was so unbelievably against me this morning, but like she was really trying to sabotage my week. Just really didn't want to go. And then I was like, this is your last double session for a while. I did my pool day, went on easy 6K and finished that easy 6K at Aldi. So starting the week off well, I really don't have any food, as you can see. I've really got the most like random food left. So let me show you what I got just very, very quickly. Two spare milks. 
frozen raspberries standard, diced chicken and chicken breast. I had to get a block of Parmesan because I didn't have any great or shaved I like. We've got some white onions. I kind of just wanted one singular one, but now I've got hundreds. So I guess we're using white onions or brown onions from now on. Got some sourdough. I'm really in my bread era at the moment and I'm not mad at it. Got some more eggs. Got some easy peelers and some grapes. I had to go into M&S to get broccoli and manger too. And then it, this was on clearance, like reduced even. And this is my favorite Mexican style rice and avocado. If you ever get the chance to get this from M&S, I mean, it is normally like four pound and I'm not paying four pound, but it was two pounds. So I think I'm gonna have it for dinner tonight. Cause I think we're gonna be out for lunch. More tomatoes and sliced mushrooms because we're gonna make a risotto. We're gonna make a risotto and like some hot honey, chili chicken. I really wanna like be in a position where I can't, I don't know what day, but from the like 19th, 20th, I wanna be able to, to like take off a week. Like I would really love to like not have to film or edit for a week. Like I'll still be on Instagram. I mean, I'm gonna take like Christmas Eve, Christmas day, boxing day, like completely offline, I think. Like not post anything on Instagram, not post anything on TikTok. Um, like really have like three days off. I'd like a week off where like I'm not filming anything. I'm not editing it. I might film because I've got a really fun video coming New Year's Day. So I might film, but like I'm not editing YouTube videos. I'm not sending emails. I'm not like doing anything that requires me to like sit down on my laptop. I've now got a friend and we are feasting. <laughs> We're going half and half. Um, this is the one I got. I think I didn't vlog last week, but this is unreal. But they also have this like mozzarella. That pesto. bread looks amazing. Doesn't it? Yum. And TM. <laughs> Spontaneously bought two cannolis. Cannolis. Gingerbread, supposedly. It's like an Italian dessert thing. I've only had them a few times, but like when I had them, I nearly cried because they're that good. Wow. And then, but then I had them another time and they sucked. Oh. So. They look crunchy. They, 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 they are. They look yum. Okay. It's that part of the day. <laughs> Starting to go a little crazy. We've um, we do boring stuff on to your laptop. <laughs> no, there's something Tia needs to do that's just like not working. And then like I thought we finally got there. I was like, like I screamed, we high fived, oh, and then it was like <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. okay. But anyway, it's like four p.m. ish. We're probably gonna honestly get kicked out any second now. <laughs> like, there's only so long you can stay in a coffee shop. <laughs> so using their electricity as well, both the laptops plugged in. Like, <laughs> it's actually a bit of a mistake, to be honest. Buys three pound of coffee, stays for seven hours. <laughs> well, I've bought two coffees and lunch. Yeah, true. I've got I've got cannolis. Yeah. Okay, only got a little bit of battery. I'm off to go meet Molly after her grad. This is the little outfit. We've gone for like a full silver number kept my scrunchie in and just accessorized quite aggressively. Um, and I was so excited to go see Molly and say congratulations and have a little drink. Um, I don't know if her family is still with her, I assume so, um, which is fun, love her family. And I'm so excited, but I'm not obviously gonna bring you because it's Molly's night. So I will see you tomorrow morning. I've like, I feel really fresh all of a sudden. I felt down in the dumps, like just brain frazzled after a day of work, kind of down in the dumps, like just a bit like this isn't working, but doesn't need to work, so I'm gonna go socialize and have an Aperol. See you tomorrow, which might end up being a rest day. Who knows? Who knows where the night will take us? Good afternoon, actually. A bit ashamed to say that. Good afternoon. So I went out with Molly yesterday, as you've seen. I mean, and we got back at, I don't know what time I ended up getting back at. I wanna say one, but it might've been like half 12. I'm pretty sure we got an Uber at like, 20 past 12, but I was quite tipsy. But it was so nice to go and celebrate with Molly. I'm so glad she asked me to come. I was like her boyfriend for the night. Her two friends had their boyfriends with them. And she had me because her boyfriend actually had to go back to work, but he was there at the grad and stuff, which is nice. But yeah, I was honorary boyfriend for the night, which was so fun. It was so nice to just get out on a Monday and like go and have some fun. Part of me for a second when I was out was like, don't drink too many drinks. I like, just, you know, Keep it normal, gotta wake up tomorrow. Like this was quite aggressive for a Monday, but like it was one of my best friends, grads. So fuck it. And that's the privilege of this job that like I can wake up later in the morning and have a later start. Like it doesn't matter too, too much. Although I did have quite a lot to do today, but that's okay. It's currently 12. I have cleaned the flat. I have showered and washed my hair as you can hopefully tell. There was a lot of hairspray in that. Not gonna lie guys, I let this flat get in 
estate. Um, I don't really know what happened. I feel like when I left it to go to cheese, it was relatively clean and then I've got no idea what's happened because I haven't even cooked or anything, but it was just a bit, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a sad girl flat, like, and I don't really know why. That's been happening to me a lot recently. I'll just be looking around like, this is a mess. So I really need to make the effort to like, start putting in the closing shift <laughs> before I go to bed because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but I just keep feeling like I'm waking up in a mess. I feel like whenever I'm hungover, not that I'm like hungover, but like had a late start, whatever, I feel like I always like restart my day at some point. So it's currently nine minutes past one. A very late start for me. And I've got porridge <laughs> and a coffee. So I'm gonna eat the, I'm gonna eat this, drink that. Um, and then we're gonna get started on the day. The place is hoovered, it still needs mopping, but I'm, I'm gonna do that last thing. Like, I don't wanna mop in the middle of the day. Dinner is served. That is so much green. But I have a boyfriend who's rather ill. So I'm jacking him up on honey and chili and green so he sweats it out. <laughs> I'm also, guys, about to watch Lord of the Rings. First Lord of the Rings, three hours I long. I need to be ill more often. Oh, you're going straight in. I, I would try the chicken first, but okay. I made this a while ago and it was like one of my favorite things ever. Actually, let, let me taste test the chicken with you. I haven't actually tried it, so if it's horrible, apologies. Mm. Wow. Well. Do you reckon that's someone's grandma they named after? It's a bit overcooked. <laughs> No, it's not. Don't, don't do yourself Yum, service, Megan. Spicy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good morning. So it is currently about 10 to 9. Carter has been rather unwell recently. So he is about to wake up in about 10 minutes. But I've been up since 6, getting some stuff ready for Christmas. Like I said, I'm trying to prep to have like a week off. So I've just been doing some work that I didn't get around to doing yesterday, which is good, and I've just been doing. I would tell you exactly what it is, but I can't, because my mum is definitely going to watch this video. On my Patreon episode that went live today, so it's up when you're watching this, I, talk, I tell you all about it, because my mum's not on my Patreon. But I've decided to start a new tradition this year. Like, my little thing that I'm going to do every Christmas for everybody. And if you're not new here, my brother lives in Boston, America, currently. So... I have spent the morning doing theirs and I'm gonna send it off today which is another reason why I wanted to get up early because I need to get the scent off ASAP. I have finally printed off all of the photos um, from mine and Carter's travel over the last year because he bought me a scrapbook for my birthday last year now so like 18 months ago of like a travel scrapbook and he filled it and I'm yet to update it so he's actually here tonight so maybe we'll do this as we watch a film tonight have i showed you my christmas presents yet i feel like i haven't look at them all next to my mop and my bin aren't they so cute i'm loving this wrapping paper it's from sostris and green we've also been trying to make our christmas plans um like with my family all morning and i think we finally decided what we're gonna do i had such a bad sleep last night i was so hyper aware that Carter needed a good night's sleep because he hasn't been well, that I, like, couldn't sleep. I also left my eye mask at Cheese. I sleep with an eye mask. And the last, like, three nights I've had really awful sleep because of it. So I need to get another one ate up because I literally can't sleep. But anyway. Okay, it is a few hours later. It's 11. Carter should be back any second from his haircut. It was at 10, so he literally should be back any second. I... I'm very grateful, very happy with myself. Glad that I got round. I got to fit on the podcast while he was gone. So I feel like I'm all caught up on yesterday's work, kind of. I'm now gonna, I think, get some breakfast ready to cook when he walks in. Just like eggs, tomatoes. But I'm just gonna get that all ready so as soon as he walks in, I can like throw it on because I'm starving. I think this place is gonna put me on a ban eventually. We're back in Haunt. This is the last bed. I can't vlog. It's so loud in here. It's so warm in here. Doing some editing, doing some work. My pre-run ritual is about seven million weeds. And today I thought I needed one more. And I had one more. And then I had to go back into the flat because I forgot to send something to my manager. And I was like, oh, I could do with one more. And I was like, you haven't even drank anything. Now I'm dying for a wee. And I'm 1K into 8K intervals. So that's good. Gosh, I do really need a wee. Me and Carter didn't go to the gym this morning because he's still not feeling 100%. So we were like, there's no point 
just give it another day. So he's got his interview now and I'm on a run. He has got called in to work last minute for tomorrow, which is really sad to be honest. I had a cry. So I'm glad I'm out on a run because it's obviously not his fault. But I was just getting myself really upset because our time keeps getting stripped away from us recently. I'm getting a bit sick of it. I hate being like low key long distance. So I'm glad I'm out on a run and I can go back to him when his interview's done, like happy face. So let's do this. I'm currently on an interval getting told that I'm being too slow. But look at this. You can't even see. Okay, you need to go, guys. We ordered wagon mamas. I'm actually so unhappy right now. But, like, big puffles. Oh, I thought you were going to say the opposite. What's up? We ordered wagon mamas. I've got this new teriyaki chicken situation. I've got double layers of pyjamas on. Where's the remote? It's doing things. You know that <sighs> feeling when you're like, you just sit down and eat. Go eat my wagon mamas. This is one of my favorite Christmas films, by the way, guys. Bad Bombs Christmas. So good. I was supposed to have a boyfriend for two days and he got called into work last minute. Oh, I think I told you that on my run, didn't I? So yeah, he's he's now not here, about half nine. I've been saying this a lot, I think, on my podcast recently. I might have said it in this vlog that I just need to like, oh, I said it when I was like slightly hungover. I'm just putting in my closing shift at the flat, but I like really cleaned all the kitchen and stuff earlier because Carter had an interview and it was going to be in the background. So I made sure it was all clear so it looked... So it looks nice and the guy who's interviewing him complimented my Christmas tree and he was like, oh, that's my girlfriend. Just been doing um, the little surprise for, well, not surprise, but like part of my little presents for everybody. So everybody's cards are done. Add them to the pile. But I went and posted my brother's little surprise. Brother and sister-in-law's little cute Christmas surprise. Um, and I checked so many times online how long it would take. Because um, when I had the idea, I was like, okay, how long is it going to take? And then I went and did it all that day and I've just been waiting for like the last thing to come. And it said like, if you pay eight pound, which was like the absolute max, it would take five days. Like post of Christmas takes longer anyway, I know that. But not only that, he said it wouldn't get there till after New Year's now, which is just not helpful because they're not gonna watch this. But they have two baubles in there. Like their gift is two baubles. It's not like their gift. Like, they're gonna get like a gift as well. I sent them the little cute thing I'm doing for everybody, and then two baubles. One that's like a little bus that says London on it, and one that's actually I bought myself one, a little funky Santa. And he said they're not gonna get it till New Year's. Which is so annoying. But it's funny, because in the card I put, I thought I'd send you something like early. Well, try and send it early. I don't know when you're gonna get this, so that like you're thinking of me longer, because I'm an attention seeker. <laughs> I'm glad I wrote or try, because I don't know when you're gonna get this, because now they're not gonna get it for ages. Oh, my whole point was, yeah, Christmas post is later, but they charged me 18 something pound. And on the Royal Mail website, it said like the max tracked all this for under a kilo was like eight pounds something. And they charged me 18, which I don't mind because I wanted to send them it and it doesn't matter. But what the heck? 18 pound went online, it said eight. Very confused about that one. I've kind of woke up in my throat. I can feel it. So let's hope I'm not getting ill. Like my boyfriend was, I literally was like, hands off me. You don't touch me. But I've kind of woken up like, what is there to do when you wake up early today? I don't know why today it feels like I've got nothing to do, which isn't really true. I guess because I just don't really want to go to the gym. I want to put Love Actually on the TV and go back to sleep. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing anything. To not leave my house right now. I'm on like my third YouTube video and to be honest I'm really quite enjoying it. It's Christmas so I'm trying to just like chill out but I'm gonna wrap some presents. I've got two presents to wrap so I'm gonna do that while I watch the rest of Ra the Rachel Lewis vlog because who's gonna tell me that I can't? I also do think I'm gonna get ill now so thanks a lot boyfriend. I need to be looking sexy you know? I think I might have to miss the gym. I can't breathe in my chest. <laughs> My chest really hurts. Um, I can't really breathe. So, I don't know, we'll see. I think I might miss it. If it stops raining later, I might go for a run, but I'm just not feeling too fresh, to be honest. So I think I'm just gonna have a laptop day. Finishing every, finish everything I need to do on my laptop. Um, I keep going severely hot and cold as well. Which is probably my own fault, to be honest. I wish I had some meal prepped lunch. <laughs> I don't really have anything. I might actually put Love Actually on guys and finish my work. My boyfriend loves a ginger shot and he obviously wasn't very well, but he, he like loves a ginger shot on a good day. Like it's literally one of his favorite drinks. 
So co-op sell packs of three. So when he was here, he bought three and he didn't drink the last one. Well, I bought them and he didn't drink the last one. So bottoms up, doing different kinds of shots these days. I hate them. I don't. They are huge though. Okay. The other day I was in Aldi when I did that food shop. I, th I think it was the food shop I showed you. Or it might have been the one before. I bought a singular can of tomato soup because I was like, I'm sure I'll want that soon. That is my lunch today. <laughs> Minimal effort. I was like, I don't want to cook lunch. I haven't got anything. I was like, oh my God, tomato soup. So spicy. My sister-in-law always just says, lots of fluids and lots of vitamin C. Somebody needed to take me out my flat before it was too late. It was the kind of vibe we were getting towards. I actually fell asleep, guys. I was like, do you know what? I actually feel okay. I might get up and go to the gym. You know, if I can't lift as heavy, fine, whatever. But I feel like I need to go and move. And then I fell asleep for an hour. I'm sorry if it's really loud, but I'm going, I guess I've made my decision up now. I think I'm gonna go on a big Tesco trip. I was just gonna go for a walk around Media City and then decided I didn't actually want a hot chocolate or anything. So I'm gonna to come to Home Bargains, get some lem sip, yada yada. I was coming here to tell you I might go to Big Tesco and I've started walking there, so we're going to Big Tesco. I'm actually really excited about this because there's always veggie stuff that I want from Tesco that I can never come and get because I always have like so much stuff when we want to go to Aldi. So I'm excited that I've come for a wander around and I can pick up some like veggie mints and some veggie sausages and stuff because I'm eating way too much chicken for my liking at the moment. Can we just... Do I? Do I, do I, do I? I kind of came in here like, oh, I'd like some festive pajamas, but it's a bit of a waste for these. You know the Primark ones that have gone viral? They feel like that. And they're pink. And I really want to get Molly them, but this is the only size they have. I'm also obsessed with these ones. But I feel like I have to get these. Guys, all of a sudden I really want this pair. It's giving New Year. I'm kind of like, shall I get this in the dressing gown as my New Year present? Do I have this much just when the pajamas? No. Do I really want to? Yes. Something about the dressing gown is just giving the tilde to Jeff. I feel like I prefer the dressing gown. Sorry, this is just turning into a Tesco show around. But the towels here, if you remember my towel debacle from a few weeks ago, nine pound for bath sheets. Guys, I decided to treat myself to the dressing gown as well as the pair of pajamas. Because the stripy pink ones I showed you, they were always an absolute yes. I can't explain to you how soft these are and the fact they're like stripy pink and the fact they're downward stripes. I didn't get the other pajamas, but I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna get the other dressing gown because I don't have a dressing gown that I love and I'm such a dressing gown girl, but recently I just haven't been because I didn't have one I love. And I did try it on and I got a large. I should try it on together. I'm gonna try it on without this now. And then if this isn't like a sign from the universe that I was supposed to get it. And also like, I feel like it was just like a nice gift from the universe. I'm just gonna have some cashews. I bought these from my boyfriend, but I actually am really enjoying like taking three. This was like, I feel like a kind gesture from the universe that when I got to the till, all nightwear was 25% off. So I really do wish they had another pink pair for Molly because that would have been such a perfect Christmas present. It would be matching. This is my new dressing gown. I feel like it gives really Matilda de Jeff and I can't believe I've gone for one that's so blue. But when my like crochet is back on, like my crochet blanket, my flat is very much blue and pink. Um, so I just thought it would be cute. And it's like quite girly. I feel like I could have even got an extra large. And then let me show you what else I got. I very much went and did like a Tesco restock. You know, things you can't get in Aldi. I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna spend the money. I did get some oat milk just cause I don't have any, but I decided to get this one. which is organic and barista. Two veggie sausages. I think Aldi have stopped doing that version of these because I've been looking for the last three weeks and they haven't had them. I used to get this from Food Warehouse um, when I used to live at home for lunches. I mean, it wasn't this brand. It was like a food food warehouse one. Is it Food Warehouse? You're like the big Iceland. But I used to love them. And I used to like use it all the time. So I thought this was quite similar to the, you know, the couscous salad that I make, which I thought would be quite nice to have in the freezer just for days where like I can't be bothered. I've got some lemon syrup. I actually got myself some 
of these. I used to eat these all the time. So I'm excited to have them back in my life. I got myself some butter because I used the last of my butter this morning and it was going moldy. Okay, as well as the sausages, I got some duck. Little duck wraps, duck pancakes. I love making. And then I got two bags of veggie mints because bolognese, lasagnas, chilies. I haven't made any of that in so long because I've not had any mints. I got some egg whites. I am really trying to be a bit more aware of how much protein I'm intaking just because I am doing a lot of training and I'm not tracking or anything at the moment. So I just don't think I'm getting a lot of protein in. I got a loofah because I've been meaning to get one for a while. And then I got some exfoliating gloves because, oh, actually I didn't need these anymore because I found a mitt. I had nothing to scrub my tan off with, but I feel like these are just good to have anyway. And then I just got some ketchup and some honey because I've run out of honey. Anyway, I'm going to cook dinner and then I'm going to have a lovely shower with my loofah, my exfoliating gloves. I'm going to scrub all my tan off, get in my new PJs and watch maybe like Arthur, Christ Arthur Christmas. Arthur Christmas or Elf or something. Um, and I'm really excited about it actually. I'm feeling a lot, I'm still feeling a little bit ill, but I'm feeling a lot better. No, I'm actually not with it. I just poured my rice through the sieve here. I'm not joking. I just was walking to the sink and just poured it. Can you see all the water on the floor? What an absolute crazy person. This is actually leftover Wagamama's Wok Fried Greens put in here, but let me tell you, Tastes incredible. It's Tony and Sarah. Look! I'm so happy. This dressing gown and these pajamas. <gasps> if you've got a Tesco near you, you need to. They had so many different designs and colours in this material. You need to go and find them. I haven't been happier. Good morning. I tried to vlog in town, but my camera is doing this thing recently, where it will go like in and out of focus when I'm outside. But I've just got back. I've got quite a lot of deliveries. We've got our. Piglet's pantry delivery for tomorrow evening. So I thought I could walk you through. I literally just went to get some bits for the event tomorrow and to try and find an outfit, but I don't know what it is. Like, I hate everything in store at the moment. I realize I'm actually super unprepared for tomorrow, but I've got cups. I really wanted paper cups, but they were all super small. And straws. I thought these straws kind of like looked like candy canes. So because we've very kindly been gifted some and cocktails and like kombuchas and stuff for the non-drinking girlies. So we're just gonna serve drinks with like cups and ice so nobody has to buy anything. And then in here we've got glue dots to do some scrapbooking. And then I've got a present bag from Sostris and Green for my boyfriend. I actually don't love how gold this is, but it was the only like big one. And then I just got paper plates, which I only realized I needed last night for all of this stuff. I mainly went into town because I wanted to find cute napkins. I wanted like plates and cute napkins because otherwise it was all gonna be very red and just not aesthetic. But I kind of got these thinking I was gonna order the red plates online and now I've got white plates. So it's all very white and not very Christmassy. It's like sausage rolls, vegan rolls, and I think just brownies. And now I've just realized I need some kind of serving plates, which I didn't think about. We've got traditional five inch sausage rolls, a case of six. I'm thinking, I don't know how many she sent, we can cut them all. Okay, they're really big. Okay, and then we've got fuckloads of brownies, I think. Perfect. This has been me since about 4 p.m taking the day off the vlog because we really haven't done anything interesting other than like prep for tomorrow and try and rest and drink lem sip. <laughs> you should have seen the state I woke up in. I actually did put it on my Instagram story, but I've just spent the morning just like getting my life together a little bit, to be honest. And I'm gonna go to the co-op now. I'm actually gonna take out these boxes in my bin because they're a bit gross. And I'm gonna get some milk because guys, the milk I got, bleh, kind of wanting some avocado as well. I would love like an avocado bagel, maybe some eggs. Um, I think Molly told me she'd set her alarm for one because she just got off nights, but she also said she wasn't feeling well. So I was like, please just sleep. I don't know if she's seen it before she set her alarm. But either way, Molly should, I should be with Molly probably like around up to half two-ish maybe. We just need to go to Tesco. I'm hoping she's getting ready here. I think she is. And then Lily should be here as well. And we can get started. This is what everything's looking like. I've cut all the sausage rolls up, put some in half, some in thirds, some in quarters. 
Um, so there's actually quite a lot of them. And I'm just wondering if I should do the same to the brownies because technically there's actually not enough brownies for everybody to have one. But I don't know if they'll look weird in half. This is like the kombuchas and the soft drinks. This is the cocktails. And then I've left these boxes out so that we can put all the food in them and take them. It's lucky there's three of us, even still in three. I don't think we'll do this trip. And then I've got like a cool bag actually that I got sent once. So we need to get some ice. We need to get some Prosecco. We need to get some serving trays. There's a lot going on. Oh, I need to bring my bit. A little weekend at home brunch. I decided to buy myself Arthur Christmas because it is actually one of my favorite Christmas films. We're not going to talk about Prime charging for every single Christmas film this year because it's doing my head in. I think this is the third one I bought. Okay guys, sorry, I forgot to show you, but we're, we're in Tesco. We found some good serving plates, good Prosecco. Okay, phase one complete. Um, we've got some free from <coughs> treats because my people- <laughs> so sorry. There should, I feel like there should be a word for when people cough, because like- Like not achoo or bless you. Not achoo, you, well, you don't say achoo when someone sneezes. <laughs> 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 <It's like, laughs> yes, like bless you. Um, I hope you're okay. <laughs> I feel like people still bless you a little bit when you cough. That's what I mean, like, I feel like you need a word. Anyway, vegan treat done, celebrations done, Prosecco done. Now that we're going to Aldi, we may as well have got it there, but it's price matched. Yeah. So that's okay. Club card. Yeah, <laughs> save 50p. Anyway, we're kind of um, on budget as well. I kind of had like a hundred pound-ish to play with after I paid for the venue for everybody's like food and drink and stuff. So we're looking good. Probably got about 30 pound left to play with and I want some Santa hats, I need ice. And what was the other thing? Um, cups. Cups, we still need cups, Prosecco cups. We found some glasses, oh my God. That's not cute. And some hats. Okay, we've got everything from the last shot. This is Molly's sleepover bag, even though she only decided to sleep over like four minutes ago. This is how much stuff she brought. We've got so many outfits to try on between us both. This is hats and glasses. This is, I don't know, Prosecco, um, ice, pizzas for us now, um, celebrations and free from snacks. Guys, it's not looking too good. The photographer just canceled on me. Um, well, she didn't cancel on me, bless her. She said she's been trying to get the train home since like 11 a.m. Um, and is still nowhere near. Bear in mind it's 5 p.m. Bless her soul. Hope she gets home okay. The trains at the moment are fucking jarring. Lily's was delayed as well. But then we just got home and I was like, you know what? We just have a drink. Let me pour a drink before we go anywhere else. Fucking the bottle of lemonade exploded everywhere. As you can see by my top, there is currently a tea towel on the floor. Molly is naked in the bathroom. Hello. It's all going on. I've just put my story. Please, 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 desperate. Is there anyone else um, who's free last minute? If not, we do have the vlogging camera. It's not even the quality of the photos. It's just, I didn't want anybody else to have to think about it. I just wanted everybody to be able to like chill. Like even you guys, I just wanted everybody to know that we could, we could go home and there would be photos, but we still can do that. Ooh. That Prosecco is nice. Is this the Prosecco we got but Minnie? What do we do first? Should we decide what we're wearing? No, maybe I'll shower and do makeup as well then. Honestly, it's only I'm quarter to it. five. I'm, I'm, even if someone messaged me saying I'm free from seven, half seven, great. Do you know what I mean? My labia is so long it will poke out of that. <laughs> <laughs> She's Where like, on earth does anything She's low live? rise. Where does anything live? She's low rise. Megan. You can see my ass. No, you can't. I can touch it. Good for you. <laughs> Maybe I could too. Okay, it's not actually that. It's carnage in here. We're manifesting a good night. Megan, you're gonna have a good night. Okay, we're on our way, and I think I might come home with no friends. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is the game plan, everybody. Um, we're late. We're like really. We're like really late, but it's like literally not no fault other than my own. So I like I brought my camera, I brought my tripod, I bought no camera batteries, oh and no, I charged not all four. I charged all four, so that's good. But we do have to use camera, because yes. um, we have no I don't know, I don't know, oh, no photographer. Um, Thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. We're just breathing, and like it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna, gonna be such a we're gonna be there at the same time as everybody else, and so just give us ten minutes. It's just like classic <laughs> Megan It'll fashion. Be fun. Or, here's the upside, everybody else will be late because there's so much traffic. Yeah. yeah, so true. And I'm excited, we'll kind of, I think the best way to do this now that everybody's here is to, I'll probably go around, give everybody a raffle ticket, and then like remember your number, and then I think in a minute we'll call them all 
and then you can see who's got yours. We won't open in front of each other because that's a bit awkward. Um, <laughs> but then hopefully you can find the person that's got yours a bit later on and like chat through it if like there's a reason you put stuff in there. But other than that, thank you so much for coming. I'm really excited. Woo! And also, don't be scared that everybody's here for the same reason. Like, I don't think anyone's really come with people other than like my friends because they're the best. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your friends? You're so weird. Uh, we got Sophie who's going to do a fun TikTok, so if she approaches you, so, please, please be nice and please do it. <laughs> yeah, we um, can still speak to you, probably. Yeah, she's PA. She's curious. Uh, Emily and Izzy and Molly, who I all met through events like this, so that's so fun. Um, oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so I mean, the next one. Exactly. Um, so yeah, don't be scared to talk to people because everyone's here for the same reason. Cheers, everyone! Woo! Woo! Like, Molly is the best. And this has basically happened because of Molly. <laughs> she's the best in the world. I'm a photographer for the night. She's just literally PA. She's the best. I love you so much. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm going to marry you. Are we on? Are we live? We're rolling. I'm not going to miss this pause to shit out this place. Look at this. Give us a twirl. Woo woo. Uh, I'm going to go give everyone their off tickets and then we're going to like embarrass people and like make everybody like put their hands up and shit. <laughs> Let's go, let's go! And you guys. No, but you know what's actually mad, Megan? Hold that. Vlog. Vlog. You know Vlog. This isn't insane? even my camera, we're on Tia's camera. You know what's insane is the amount of people that came up to me like, I've made like friends through these events. Like obviously that's it's the point so... of them, but like people actually are like everyone like, came on their own. Friends. Yeah, like Apart people from no, girls deep, who came deep this. They met so there's a, there's a Facebook page, right? And these two girls have never been to an event, never whatever, just from the Facebook page. But the holiday to Venice together. That's so you. Stop. Megan Mental. The Megan Short effect. <laughs> Megan yeah. Short effect. Yeah. Megan Short effect. <laughs> nah, deep that. That's, That's mental. Awesome. More or less everyone came on their own, it was so cute. Yeah. Did anyone, That's when you were doing it, did anyone come with pals? Other than us lot? Did Apart from, know? so there was four girls who came together, from the but Patreon. they met, they met before That's at six o'clock. Yeah, so from the Patreon, for, them four were going, That's they made and a group chat. And there was one girl who'd been to too many events, she couldn't count. Megan, yeah, Megan. Megan, love really you. Megan. Love her, right. she's the best. Nice. Nah. You're the best. <laughs> nah, it's actually crazy. You're bringing people together. Yeah, so like much you're one fun. person. Because making friends is hard. Making friends is hard. That was kind of easy in there. So yeah. easy. Yeah. So you genuinely, it's you genuinely would not have believed that no one in that room knew each other. It's so hard making friends. Sorry, I've like... That is mental, because normally at an event, normally there's at least two like couples that have come together. So at least there's only four people that like knew someone else. And there's at least like half that awkwardness. In that, I don't think other than us, the fact that we walked in and people were in groups table sitting yeah, crazy already chatting. i think the thing yeah, is knowing that the barrier is not there yeah like i said like chat to people everyone's here for the same reason, reason. Yeah. like everybody's here for the same You've even at the to. yoga retreat love you guys the most Let's, no we'll we'll end the vlog here but we'll montage the the celebration night out